few. Grass, where's all the decorations? You've been adding all month. What? There's nothing new? No. There's not. You're lucky I, I you're lucky I buttoned my, my, my shirt up this week. Welcome to the gaming galleon, the proudest pirate ship on the internet. And not just the internet, but in the world beyond. Every week we take you to a different destination. How? Well, we pop a video game into our magical navigator and it takes us, whisks us away beyond our control to some unknown place. And this week, we're somewhere in the quote-unquote Arizona territory. I don't know what that is. Is that Arizona? I can I tell you, the last place I ever wanted to be was Arizona. Sounds like a horrible place to me. There's a desert. Uh, have you seen Native American art? Dream catchers, uh, I don't know. It doesn't have the, uh, you know, bigger than life attitude of Texas. It doesn't have the, uh, you know, forward thinking, let's just have a good time attitude of California. Uh, it doesn't have the, uh, you know, big life, big city of, of Nevada. It's just kind of there to me. But that's the Midwest thing. You know, I was talking to somebody in California this week, and she said to me, uh, I know you had the ship stationed out in uh, Indianapolis. I know that's where you're, you know, when you're not traveling, that's where you guys are stationed. Where is Indiana again? Is that in the north part of the country, the south part of the country? When you're out here on the west coast, all those uh, states over on the other side kind of run together. Same goes here in the Midwest. We know where California is. We know where Washington is. We know where Texas is. But if you ask us where, like, like uh, the Dakotas are, or like uh, Utah, Montana, is Montana north? Is Montana south? I have no idea. I have no idea. But... It's that part of the country that everyone seems to be celebrating in the video game world this week. It's a huge day. We're sitting on the precipice of video game history today. I'm, kid I'm not kidding. What I mean by that is, is tomorrow drops arguably the most important the most groundbreaking game of the current generation. Red Dead Redemption 2. How can I say that? How can I say that? Game's not even out yet. And even more so, I know less about Red Dead Redemption 2 than anyone you know. I don't know a thing about Red Dead Redemption 2. Now you're like, well, yeah, I mean, Rockstar generally doesn't really uh, release a lot. Uh, I know it's the day before, the reviews are out. No, I'm talking about, I, it's not that I've avoided the review. I've avoided everything. I haven't heard, I haven't looked at one feature list. I haven't heard about one update between this game and that game. The previous game. I haven't even seen a trailer. I haven't even seen a frame of footage. The most I know about Red Dead Redemption comes from people that don't understand that I don't know anything about it. I've got a buddy of mine. I, I, I can't make it clearer to him that I don't know that anything about it. I'm going in blind. 
you know, purposely. Because I want the adventure. I want the journey. And he proceeds to tell me, oh, I can't wait till I get to play John Marston again. And I got the guy on the phone. I'm like, what are you doing? I told you I don't want to know anything about it. Now you're telling me that John Marston's in it? He's like, wait a minute, you didn't know that? I'm like, how many times have I told you I don't know anything about the game? And this is when he just comes to this realization. Like, it's unheard of. Like I, like I breathe water or something. It happens, folks. I mean, it's not often. I know I'm in the minority out there, but there's some people out there who just don't want to know anything about the game they're buying. And if it's something as seminal, as historical, as mind-blowing technologically as this game is going to be, the last thing I want to know is what, it, what to expect. It's funny. This isn't the first time I've done this. Red Dead Redemption 1. Here it is. Here it is. Didn't know a thing about it when it came out. It avoided everything. Reviews, updates. And that was before the game even proved itself. Why? Rockstar North, man. Rockstar North. Something about that company. Must have been Grand Theft Auto 3 that made me realize these guys aren't screwing around. But I think at the end of the day, it just comes to personal taste. And every so often, maybe every five years or so, a game turns my head enough where I need to turn my head away until it's sitting in my hands. I am dialing it in today. The material is here. The game is great. The booty is amazing. We've got a mail we've got a mailbag question lined up. Everybody has done their job except me. Why? Because tomorrow I go on vacation for nine days. And you know what I plan to do as soon as I get off work tomorrow? I plan to go and get Red Dead Redemption 2. And then I plan to play it. And where the cards lie, they lie. Are we playing Red Dead Redemption today, Raz? No. Are we playing Red Dead Redemption Undead Nightmare? Would make sense. It's a Halloween show. Apparently. No. No, we're going to play Dark Watch. We're going to play Dark Watch. Dark Watch for the Xbox. Is it anything special? Made by Capcom? No, uh, not really. But it's really fun. And you play a vampire cowboy with gothic weaponry. It opens on a train that you're there to rob. Come on. What do you think? Yeah, we could play Undead Nightmare. But there's going to be plenty of time for Red Dead Redemption in about 12 hours. So we'll wait for that. All right? Let's turn off our brains. And let's just go blast some baddies for a little while. And then we got to get into this guy. We got a real Frankenstein's monster to show you today. We got something you've never seen before today. And we got a first song. It's going to be sweet. But before that, let's play some Dark Watch, huh? Let's do this one for old, old John Marston. Dark Watch! For Capcom, uh, for Xbox and PlayStation 2. We will be playing it on the Xbox 360 so it looks as good as it possibly can. Let's do it. All right. 
a little gameplay, a little audio. Don't worry, it gets brighter than that. It's in standby mode. Oh, look, we got a gun, and we're here to rob this train. What comes will come. If only I could blow those off, huh? Whoa, that's a wrap. Hello, hello, hello. Man, they're really building it up. Oh, look at him. Grody. Grody, grody. Oops. I'll get out of my way. Hello! Uh, you know, I'm all for setting the stage, but, uh, we only got an hour here. If I could get a little action. Oh! Oh, <laughs> uh, Grody. I think he was trying to lick his artery. Music swelling. It's a meat market. Ah! Hello? Are you okay? Wow, that's pretty gruesome. They are? They can't open the vault. I'm here to open the vault. It's my money. Take Thanks, buddy. Oh, wow. I didn't know you did that. Cool. Oh. Where are these guys coming in from? I'm out of weapon. I'm out of ammo. Where are you going? That a girl. Okay. Now, if there's story like now, if I could just get through that. We don't need any see I'm not here for the story. For God's sakes. Lady? Leave me alone. Oh. Alright, she's on my side. You're feasting on blood. You're turning into a I'm turning into a vampire. Alright. What's the Dark Watch? Uh, lady, do you want to help? I believe the Dark Watch is like uh, 19th century Ghostbusters. Whoa! Fan it! I got you. Got to leave the maniacal laughter. My friends call me Cassidy Sharp. All right. You can call me boss. Why okay. Come back if you want to live. I'm calling you boss. Boss, I had a problem with my timesheet. Oh yeah, I like it. That's worth watching. Nice shoot, hey, baby. That's not gonna hold Lazarus for long. 
see if you can ride as good as you shoot. What is it? Oh. Oh, you ate the. <laughs> I, I kind of want a little more of this. There's nothing you could have done. All right. It's not your fault. Nice vampire horse. Match made in heaven. All right, we'll keep it right here. We'll keep it right there. I know it's quick, but. To be honest, we got a lot to go through for the booty section, so we'll leave it here. Nice law. Nice going out, law. Your soul is slipping away. And hell's own horsemen, nip at your own heels. Your only hope is to ride with Cassidy to the Dark Watch outpost. All right, we'll get to that later. Do a little horse riding. Who doesn't like a little horse riding, huh? Yeah. That's Dark Watch. Uh... Dark Watch has a pretty decent story, but really it just comes down to really hot gunplay. Where's my hand? Uh, blood curdling monsters, blood chilling monsters, and uh, just excellent uh, set design. So, all right, we'll get back to that in a second. I don't know if we're early or not. I felt like that went really fast, but it was like. Uh, uh, I was just, I was just shooting, just shooting, just shooting. Anyway, we need to, we need some time for this because this is a big one. Been sitting on this for a long time. The, the, these are actually two deals that tie into one another, but they were done in a week's time, and they have been sitting and marinating for a long, long time for just the right show, and this was the show to do it. Now we've managed to get. Some PlayStation 2 games for some really cheap prices. Quarter. Quarter is a good price. I mean, it doesn't get better than a quarter, does it? Aside from them just dumping it on your front lawn. What we've never seen before, though, is what I saw walking into a pawn shop at a time when they were just in a surplus. The district manager came in for an audit, saw this dead merchandise sitting around, and said it's time for a fire sale. We got 30 big fat Xbox 360 games for a quarter each. Let's check them out. Now, they came in these bundles. 10 games, 250, okay? I don't really remember what's in these games because this deal was months ago. I bought them at the time, but I, as you can see, I never unwrapped them. We saved them for you guys. So we're going to discover what's here together. Am I, discuss, you know, are we going to find something crazy rare here? I sincerely doubt it, but I bet we're going to find a hell of a lot of great gameplay. And we're going to find it for really, really cheap. And don't worry. Just, if you think this was a good deal, wait till you see the deal that we'll, I'm going to show you at the end of the segment. That's insane. But let's get started with this. All right. Pulling. Don't know what these games are. They're in these stupid. All right. Here we go. Gray. Star Wars uh, Complete Saga. Xbox 360. Looks like it's complete. Okay. Skyrim, Vanilla. Uh, no manual, but it does have the receipt. Someone bought someone bought this game for four dollars. Who knows when? God, I remember when I thought Skyrim was going to be valuable. Too human. I don't think we have this. Not really sure what this game is. Machines threaten to eliminate mankind. Only Balder, a cybernetic enhanced super warrior, stands in the way. Only on Xbox 360. Okay, pretty nice uh, copy there. Not sure what they expect on that one. The Darkness. Maybe that's a decent first person shooter. Fear 2. 
in a generic case. Dark Sector, I think that's on PlayStation 3 also. Rage, the Anarchy Edition. Wow, is this three discs on this thing? This is why I generally play these games. If I if I had the choice, PlayStation 3, because you never had to deal with multiple discs. A Connect game, Connect Sports. Battlefield Bad Company. For the mercenaries, then I can't hear it. And it's just some sort of filler there. That's not the manual. Oh, game I've just recently re begun to really appreciate uh, on the Wii U, Black Ops 2. With the season pass. All right, just in time. All right. Got another bundle here. Oh look, there's there's a couple purples in there. You know what that means? Connect titles. How exciting! All right, again, all these games for a quarter. Batman Beyond Three, Batman Lego Batman Three Beyond Gotham. Thank you. There you go. Way to butcher the title. Duke Nukem Forever. Always kind of wanted to play this because I know there's pinball in it. Connect Adventures. Guitar Hero 2. Conan! I bet this is alright. This does look alright. I'm not really sure I'm going to play it. Dangerous Hunts 2011. Cabela. Bulletstorm Epic uh, Edition. Pretty sweet uh, combo based first person shooter. That game really fizzled out. I remember it was, a, it was a big deal. That first week it came out, and then it just kind of fizzled out. Darksiders 2, wow, talk about an open world game that'll keep you busy. Yeah. And then uh, another Xbox 360 game, which I've never seen, which is not a, really a big deal or anything. I've just never seen this one. Uh, game Party in Motion. Looks like a whole bunch of arcade games, skee ball, and you know, racquetball, and whatever. All right, and then our final, final bunch here. Unreal Tournament, Darkness Two Limited Edition. I'm sure it's very limited. Eat Lead, uh, The Return of Matt Hazard. I always kind of wanted to do a voyage on this game. Uh, it's basically, uh, let me hear, get ready, get ready for the return of the most popular video game hero of the 1980s. Matt Hazard is staging his quote-unquote comeback against his retro enemies in a hilarious parody of the last 25 years of gaming. I've never played this. And I'm not, I'm not sure it ever scored very well, but geez, does that sound like fun? I mean, it's a first-person shooter. How bad could it be, right? Turok. Fear Files. Complete standalone expansion pack series. So is this like just multiplayer stuff for another campaign? I couldn't tell you. Fear's another first person shooter. Uh, Ninja Gaiden 2. S0, uh, Perfect Dark Zero. <laughs> 90s parties, classic lips. With all your favorites like I Will Survive by Gloria Gaynor, My Sharona, and of course, what singing game would be complete without right said Fred's? Not too sexy. Rock Band 2. And finally, Darksiders 1. So there you go. That was uh, 30. 30 Xbox 360 games for a quarter. Now, are these games expensive? Like, you know, would this be a big flip if we brought it in somewhere? Nah. 
But again, it's a lot of gaming for 750. And uh, I actually came to the Xbox 360 game pretty late. Uh, I was all about the PS3, so uh, that 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 almost doubled my library. Me, me, I mean, some good stuff in there. Some good stuff in there. <sighs> okay, so about a week later, I go in there and they're done liquidating the software. Now, who's taking the hit? The hardware. PlayStation 3s and Xbox 360s went from $80 in this store to $25 each. Now, for someone who's never had one, doesn't have one, that's a great deal. For someone who has one or two, not much of a head turner. But you see, I've been scouting this place for quite a while and there was one particular Xbox 360 that I was I really really wanted and I wasn't gonna let anybody else get it and the lowest price I'd ever been been quoted on it for was 80 and I think on a good day I probably could have gotten it for 60 but I knew I just knew no one cared enough to get it for that price so I waited and waited waited until this very day and so when she said $25 I said I'll take that one and I only took one now what does it come with and this is a pawn shop scenario it's not a thrift store pawn shops aren't going to just give you something with no cords they always take them with cords so they're always going to give you cords so we got all the fixings We got uh, a nice, clean Xbox 360 controller here, which we've been using to play Dark Watch. Very nice shape. I think there's some a little sticky on the back there, but buttons are in nice shape. She had it wrapped up with a uh, HDMI cable here, which obviously we're not using. Well, it looks like it's not a bad one. I've got the power cable. It's a power box, you know. Uh, down here, down here on the floor. And then she, she's digging around in the Tupperware to find me. I, I think maybe an HDMI cable. And I said, "Oh, does it have? Does it have one of those?" And she, does it have a hard drive and she says oh I don't know and I said well let's pop open the 360 we popped open the 360 there was no hard drive in there so I said well you don't mind if I just pop this guy in there do you she said yeah no I mean no no problem I mean you, you need a place to save stuff right 320 gigabyte hard drive we pop that in the machine we bring the machine up and I said, uh, I said, can you can you throw in a game? And she says, well, I can't throw in a game. But then we start to get to talking, and she starts talking about how much fun the Connect is. And I said, she says, I can't give you a game, but I can throw in a Connect. And I was like, oh. Now, if someone throws you something that you don't really care about, like us and a Connect, don't turn your nose up at it. Just say, oh, well that. Treat it as a gift, even if it's something you don't want, because it might lead to something else. And as we finished the deal, I said, do you have any, you know, I'm, I'm looking at this thing, I said, do you have any games you would, she says she plays this with her mom. Have any games you suggest? She said, what? All right, hold on. And she goes into a book, and she pulls this out. A loose copy of Connect Adventures, which is basically the the the, the uh, packing game for the Connect. So let's do a tally so far. We did an Xbox 360 with the cable, power cable, with the HDMI cord, with the Connect, with a game to play the Connect, with a controller, 
we power up the 360, and inside the 360, the, 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 the carriage opens up, and she says, oh, there is a game in here. We open that up, and it's Perfect Dark Zero. So now we're looking at two games and all the fixings for an Xbox 360. Good deal? Sure. Special deal? Yeah. But let's take a look at this 360, shall we? She's gold. Is that a big deal? Well, you're never going to see one. They didn't make them like this. This is not a special order. This is not a, a limited edition, you know, buy this with, with Black Ops 2. No, that's not what's going on here. Somebody made this special. Somebody wanted a very special Xbox 360 for their very own. And they didn't want it just at home. They wanted it anywhere they went. It's a modded Xbox 360 for your car. It doesn't have to just be for your car. But that's what this guy made it for. Look at the, you see that cable there? That's coming from the monitor right into the HDMI port. You wanna fire it up? Let's fire it up. Now ready for this? No signal. Oh. oh. Obviously this is gonna look a lot brighter for you than me. But there you go, you got your amiibos there. Your guys. You can plug in a a controller here. Um, I've got a wired controller here. I'll stand by. Careful now. Plug this in. see that I'm, I'm moving this. There we go. Watch me drop it like a jerk. Let's see if I can get it into the main menu. There we go. And I think uh, Perfect Dark's in there. I could be wrong. What does it say? No, it says open tray. I'm not going to put a game in there. But I assure you, I assure you she works. I played uh, Capcom Classics on this thing. Whatever the whatever the collection is for the 360, and she played just fine. So there you go. A real Frankenstein monster there. An Xbox 360 with all the fixings, including a built-in monitor for $25. And incidentally, I walked out of there happy as I could be. I was in there about a week later. Some damn jackass came in there, and I saw him, and he was just buying up every $25 system you could get. Every single one of them. I'm looking at this guy as he's, he's, he's raking them all in. I'm like, oh, let me guess. You're bringing all those to an orphanage, right? He's like, won't even, won't even look at me. Guys like that are the problem. Guys like that are the problem. So there you go. Pretty hot stuff, huh? Come on. 25 bucks for that? I don't think anyone could say no to that. So there you go. Let's get back to uh, Dark Watch. 
we were, uh, where were we? We were heading, we, we just, <laughs> we, we just sucked the blood out of our, our horse's neck and turned him into a vampire. And now we're going to be riding alongside this, uh, I don't know if she's an undead hunter, who knows, dark watch agent, our boss, quote unquote, to, uh, dark watch headquarters. Let's get back to it. Alright. Okay. Audio here. Ride like hell, Jericho. Oh. Calamity. Is that her name or is it Cassidy? Undead, Undead riders. riders! She is cute, I'll tell you I'll give you that. Go, go, go! If we can get to the dark park outpost, we can get some help. And we have to warn them that last All right. I'm ready. Two from behind. Oh, great music. I may be getting a little blown out by this. I'm going to talk up. But I just feel like the sound... The sound needs, to, needs its time here. See ya. Got him. I can't duck and shoot, man. Huh? I'm moving. Up ahead! You get your heart out, but fans are dragoon. Would you mind not pointing your gun at me? Love this music. Oh, hell, here comes Lazarus. Yes. Flee. I oh, I love you. Oh, come on. House of the Dead wants its level one boss back. Oops. Or is that House of the Dead too? I think that was House of the Dead too. Stop in the middle. Why do you do cutscene just for the middle of that combo? You're doing that well against this guy? Whoa. Hello? My blood runs through your veins. I cannot kill you. Not yet. You still I love role playing. Okay, let's clear out the cemetery, and then we'll wrap it up. There's a hidden passageway in the church. It leads to small mining tunnels. That. Let's have a gun here. Be ye friend or foe. That's her. Throw dynamite. Put him down with headshot. 
Anybody else? Oh boy. Imagine that. I'll take the crossbow. Got it. <laughs> oh, man. Which, which weapons? Yep, let me get my rifle back. Got my vampire sight here. Anybody else? Jericho, over by the church. Got him. <laughs> oh. Shot, I think I'm in love. Thank you. Locked. Lazarus knew we were coming. We gotta break his curse. Got the door's gonna open. More of them. Oh. On the ledge. You know what I like about this game? Uh, don't screw up with the dynamite. Drop the dynamite at your feet, dude, you're dead. It's a mark of evil. Lazarus must have special plans for this place. You've got his blood in your veins. You can destroy his Yeah, but what I really need is my... my did I get any ammo back for this? Not really. Get my gun back. Uh oh, it's gone. Okay. Easy as pie. Now what? Another one? What is this, gauntlet? Oh, I missed. Beauty. Right there. Okay. Enter crypt. All right, we'll leave it there. That's it. Lots going on there, huh? Pretty exciting game. Uh, 
the interesting thing about this game, side note, is this game was made in a time when they weren't nickel and diming you. They wanted you to buy for their system. They were begging you to buy for their system. And the only way to do it, man, it's such a different world. It's such a different world. Nobody, nobody's begging you to buy at RDR for one system or the other. They're all just, we know you're going to buy it. You're going to buy it from one of us, so whatever. We don't care uh, which one you buy for as long as everyone buys from us. That's enough. Uh, Dark Watch, this was at a time when every system was really fighting for your dollar. So in the case of Dark Watch, uh, it came out in the PS2 and the Xbox. And it's worth it to get both. Because the Xbox one, I mean, from a graphical standpoint, it looks better. But uh, it, it was uh, the one that had online multiplayer. Now, obviously, the servers might be down by this time. I never know with the Xbox because of the old retro backward compatibility issues. Issues, features. But if you weren't someone who was interested in online play, the PlayStation 2 one might have been more your speed because it was the one that had split screen, two-player co-op. Now, did this have, uh, this, this looks like it has four player split screen at home, but it's like multiplayer arena deathmatch stuff. And then there's 16 player arena stuff online, which, you know, is, might be dead by now. The PlayStation 2 one did not have any online capabilities, but you could play co-op the whole campaign. You cannot do that on this one for the 360. So it was really neat how companies would go out of their way to give each system something its own. And GameCube was really good about that. But uh, Dark Watch never made it to GameCube. Great game, great after first person shooter, it's creepy. Uh, they keep bringing new, new weapons your way. They keep bringing new, uh, in fact, we should have went a little long farther. You guys gotta see the shotgun. Hold on, we'll go back to the shotgun real quick. Cause I know it's right here. You guys got it. You, you just have to look at it. I just realized it's right here. We're down in the crypts, and there it is. It's it's. Did you see that? Hold on. Here, look. It's a shotgun that has an axe hilt or an axe blade for what is that? The hilt, the handle. Check it out. You want to use this for melee? Anybody home? Anybody home? Hey, lady, where are you at? Look at this. You just you hitting him with the axe blade. <laughs> and then obviously it's a shotgun too. So pretty hot stuff. All right, style for days. We we had to go back and see that. It's just. Dark Watch is great. Now, I have not gotten far enough in the game where I really get into, say, a rocket launcher. I can only imagine what the rocket launcher is like in Dark Watch because every weapon I've come across so far... Did you see how they were running around like, ah! When I shot them with the crossbow, they knew what was about to happen. They saw Rambo. Mailbag, uh, I don't think there's anything in there, but because I'm not getting any letters, folks. There's one guy out there who's taking care of us, this J Nerd, and he wrote me something basically bailing out the show. Let's take a look. I've got it in electronic form here. He says, Hey, Cap and Rez. A last minute question for the mailbag, if need be. You hear that everybody? If need be. Have you got a fav have you got a favorite obnoxiously silly disguise in video games? Uh, like the cardboard box in Metal Gear Solid. That's a really good Halloween question. Wow. Thank you, Jay. Uh, 
favorite obnoxious silly disguise in video games uh, it would probably have to go to Time Splitters 2 uh, Time Splitters 2 had uh, was basically a really polished first person shooter the first the it would have to be you know time splitters the whole series um really you could uh you know it's basically an fps but they dressed it up and that you could unlock like somewhere between 80 to 100 different playable characters now it's first person shooter so aside from just some passive stat changes uh no really big you know big deal but they look different and you were fighting against your friends in a four player scenario and this is a game that's supposed to be about time travel so it was great being able to play you know a cowboy versus a ninja versus a chinese delivery guy versus you know like a a, a bubblegum smacking japanese schoolgirl, and they're all in it uh i remember Oh man, I don't remember his name, but he was basically uh, a fish in a fishbowl for a head, and then a wire body, and so you're fighting against the fish. And I think there was, uh, you know, there were like snowmen. Uh, I mean, that that I don't. The, I think I usually would generally go with the boring guys. I liked Elijah Jones, who was the cowboy in Time Splitters too. But, uh, you know, if you're going to pick a game that celebrates not taking itself too seriously, uh, that's a real good one. And then also I have to give it up to Dead Rising a little bit. Dead Rising did a pretty good job of uh, always having new costumes for you to throw on, have a good time with. Uh, as for a personal favorite costume, no, not really. I generally play the more, more muted characters. Uh, but I certainly appreciate the over-the-top characters being in there. Uh, just makes things more interesting. So, on another side note, uh, I always think that I, I've got, oh, for some reason in my head, I, I've got uh, that that secret character in Resident Evil 2. If you play through the game long enough, uh, you, you can unlock some characters, and the, the final hardest character to unlock for Resident Evil 2 for the PlayStation 1 was a five foot tall, fully operational. Uh, mass of tofu I don't remember his name but I'm not kidding you look it up it exists so there you go Jay once again thank you very much much appreciated all right guys I think this is it I think this is the end of uh, our Halloween time uh, for now there's always uh, you know the Halloween is less than a week away so I hope you guys enjoy yourselves. Uh, make sure you uh, get yourself some candy. Make sure you divvy it evenly between yourself and uh, whatever children come to your door. <laughs> and uh, for God's sakes, dress up. Because, you know, not everybody gets to dress up like a pirate every year. Some of us only get to dress up once a year. So if that's you, by God, take advantage. All right, we'll see you next time. I'm not sure when, I'm not sure where, and I'm not sure how spooky it's going to be, but I know for one, oh my God, hold on. Getting so backed up in here, I've got a stack of Atari games boxed sitting on the mug. Who, who else could say that? Well, I guess there's some PlayStation 2 games here too, but who's got that sitting on their mug? Come on. Let's show some respect. All right, there we go. Famicom games. It's getting ridiculous in here. All right. We'll see you next time. And until then, farewell and adieu to ye fair Spanish maidens. Farewell and adieu, ye ladies of Spain. For we received orders for to join up with the Dark Watch. Oh, and buy Red Dead Redemption Special Edition, available now for only $80. And Lord Evermore, 
Shall we see Organ? Happy Halloween, babies.